Hello guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to MMI. So in the last video, we have studied the power transmission system. So inside that power transmission system, we have learned the engines and the types of engines and also seen the clutches and the types of the clutches. So in this video, we'll be seeing, we'll be, uh, seeing this uh, gearbox. So what is gearbox? So the gearbox is considered as the main important parameter. It, it is the heart of the transmission system. So it is the located between the clutch and the uh, propeller shaft of the automobile. It varies the leverages, speed ratio and torque ratio between the engine and the rear wheels. It provided with the either 4 speed or the 5 speed ratios or more depending upon the design of the gearbox. So guys in this image this is the front view of the gearbox. The power is transmitted from uh, this uh, engine to the differential of an automobile. Over here we have the gear selector fork mechanism. So from this lever we can uh, change or shift the gears. So guys in this case we have this 5 uh, number of the gears plus reverse also so guys the next one uh, is the steering system in the automobile so steering system helps in swing swinging the wheels to the left or to the right it converts the rotary movement of the steering wheel uh, into the angular turn of the front wheels it multiplies the effort of the driver by linkages and leverages which is very important in order to make it fairly easy to turn the vehicle. So here the rack and pinion kind of the steering system I have shown. So there are two types of the steering system. The first one is the manual steering system which is the conventional one. And the next one is the automatic steering system which is the power steering system so guys the next system in the automobile which is very important is known as the braking system so the brakes are one of the most important safety features in an automobile the brakes used to stop the vehicle by driving while driving are known as the service brakes which can be either disc and the drum brakes the vehicles are also come equipped with other braking systems such as the anti-lock braking system and the emergency brakes so guys the types of brakes are uh, <coughs> the first one is the disc brakes so in this disc brakes the shoe is kept between the rotating disc and it is pressed against that rotating disc the next one is the drum brake the shoe is kept inside the uh, wheel inside the periphery of the wheel and it is expanded by the cylinder the most important and the next one is the hydraulic brakes so guys in this image there is the master cylinder inside the master cylinder or the oil is kept hydraulics means the oil is used in the engineering the hydraulic means the oil so over here this is the perfectly incompressible fluid used so if we applied the force f on the pedal the, it uh, pushes down the piston and then that piston exerts the force in the uh, oil then oil is transmitted through the four kind of the cylinders over here and by, by that cylinders the shoe gets expanded so we results in the hydraulic brakes the next one but not the least one is the air brakes so as the name uh, name mentions the air is the main important media which is mainly used in the railways so these brakes are the alternatives to the hydraulic brakes the supply of the air is very unlimited and hence this won't run out of the working media so working media in this case is air whereas in the previous one it was the oil so over here we got air unlimited air so let's check out guys how the air brakes works in a particular uh, automobile or in railways so in railways there is the main engine the compressor is connected to the engine 
so the main uh, function of the compressor is to compress the air uh, which is drawn from the outside media or we can so call it uh, from the outside air so that particular compressed air is then transferred to the cylinder piston assembly so inside that cylinder piston assembly the compressed air forces the piston downwards it pushes the out the piston to downwards and then it results in the expansion of the shoe that is brake shoe so as the brake shoe expands uh, the vehicle gets stopped so the brakes are the applied in this case so that's how the air brake works so guys the next one is the suspension system so I'm having a car and I'm driving the road so but the guys as you can see the road is not steady it having the obstacles over there so these obstacles due to these obstacles there are some kind of vibrations which are causing my vehicle uh, to move vibrate so it's very necessary to damp those vibrations so due to that I don't like that kind of vibrations so I need to eliminate these vibrations to make me happy so guys over here the suspension system can really make me happy so in this case it is very important suspension system so let's check out guys what are the types and everything the first one is the spring the spring is the main factor in order to damp the vibrations it is mostly used in the front and the rear wheels of an automobile system the next one is the shock absorbers as we all know the shock absorbers are the main important and which is mainly used in the motorcycles and bikes also the next one is the coil spring this is uh, the spring which is uh, housing housing in the particular manifold that is Y kind of manifold the next one is the lift spring this is mainly used in the heavy automotive vehicles so the guys the next one is the electrical system in automobile so guys in this image you can clearly it has been clearly shown the what are the electrical system the first one is the power generator or alternator the second one is the battery which stores the energy the next one is the cooling fans which is a part of the radiator the next one is the motor actuator and power window the next one is the lightning that is the mainly headlamps and tail lamps next one is the onboard computer that is ECU engine control unit so guys in a particular engine there are a lot of uh, uh, like uh, power strokes are there so inside that power strokes there are 4000 explosions which is going on per minute so due to that particular explosions there are a lot of production of the heat there is the heat generated inside the engine so it is very essential to control that particular heat by transferring to the uh, another area so guys uh, we can control the heat by the application of this cooling system so in this image the cooling system is uh, shown the first one in the uh, over here is the radiator having the fan over there so uh, radiator it sends the liquid coolant throughout the passages in the engine block and the heads as the coolant flows through the those passages it picks up the heat from those passages and from those engine blocks as it picks up the heat the coolant itself gets heated the heated fluid then flows through the rubber hose to the radiator in front of the car so that was the basically the systems in the automobile guys if you thank you for watching this guys if you like my video please hit like please do comments if you want to comment and please share my videos guys thank you